Hi, I'm Corey Gibbs, former MLS and U.S. national team defender, and welcome to the top five fast and fluid plays of September. The playoffs are almost here, and while all the players are stepping up their games to try and get their teams into the postseason, here are the best of the best. Starting off at number five, I went with my former team, the Chicago Fire's latest DP, Juan Anangano's first MLS goal. Anangano's challenge against the Revolution's Chris Tierney started things off for the Fire. After possession going back and forth and the ball ending up on McGee's feet, Anangano intelligently makes his run into the open space that McGee created and receives a through ball on top of the box from Joel Impair. After splitting two defenders with one touch, the DP releases a quick left-footed shot past Shuttlesworth, scoring his first goal for his new team. Limpair, Anangano, into the area, the shot! Juan Luis Anangano, welcome to Chicago! At number four, I've got CJ Sapong's headed goal for Sporting KC against Toronto FC. It all starts off with one of the league's top midfielders, Graham Zussi, having an ample amount of time to pick out the pass of his choice. Wisely, he pings a long ball to Dom Dwyer, who is open on the right side of the box, and leaves Ashton Morgan left alone with two players to mark. Dwyer chooses the pass instead of shoot on goal and plays it to the wide open Sapong, whose header is too powerful for Bendik to save. Shot to the head off a of clearing attempt, certainly unintentional. Here's a wide open chance and a 1 0 lead. Sporting Kansas City in the 18th minute, making it look easy in transition. In the middle at number three, I went with the Columbus Crew Arietta's banger against FC Dallas. The crew's top defender, Chad Marshall, makes a great defensive stop to start the attack. After a 1-2 pass with Arietta, Odura uses his blazing speed to get down the flank and becomes a facilitator instead of the goal scorer and squares the ball to Arietta, who is one-on-one -on -one in front of goal. Arietta smashes a left-footed shot that is almost impossible for FC Dallas goalkeeper Raul Fernandez to save. Marshall stepped in, and now Blowing past Acosta, here's Aduro. Aduro leading the attack. He crosses, he finds Arietta. Arietta off the post and off the crossbar and in. At number two, the Chicago Fire take another top play from one of the league's top scorers, Mike McGee's away goal against the Seattle Sounders. After the Fire's midfielder, Dilly Duca takes an excellent first touch from a long ball, it causes immediate problems for the Sounders' defense. DeAndre Yedlin makes the wrong decision and steps to Duca instead of passing Monterotado creating a big hole on the left side. McGee pounces on the opportunity and makes a timely run into the space and is rewarded with a perfect pass from Duca. Clearly onside and one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, he chalks up his 15th of the season. Duca lays it on and it's Mike McGee who scored and Chicago's in front, just held his run onside. And for the top fast and fluid play of September, I went with FC Dallas Mauro Diaz's skillful goal against the Columbus Crew. George John starts off the attack out of the back for FC Dallas, playing a good ball to Zach Lloyd while under extreme pressure. Lloyd turns on the Jets and takes it upon himself to make an 80-yard run before playing it centrally to Mauro Diaz, who is surrounded by a force of crew players. He is able to use some fancy footwork to beat three defenders and goalkeeper Matt Lampson and casually walk in Dallas's second goal of the evening. John, I didn't, yeah, I didn't go all the way over. Arietta's back arguing with the linesman. FC Dallas has got a build up here. Lloyd to Morrow. Diaz all the way through. And Diaz is still there and taps it home. Thanks for watching the top five fast and fluid plays of September. If I missed your favorite play, leave it in the comments below or let me know on Twitter. And remember to check MLSsoccer.com every Friday for the next great connection.